ready to defend the Amazon? Only thing that's missing is 40 pounds of muscle. Alrighty, so this is the mood board of what I'm going for for this earthy Amazon warrior effect. And all of these I actually had, so that's a bonus. And now I'm drawing out a design, referencing the Google, and I just really look like a hobo and really, really needed to wash my hair. So yeah, anyways, here's my drawing. I have shin things, a skirt, harnessy thing, and a shirt. Oh god, my drawings are pretty embarrassing. But anyways, I had these armor pieces for a previous costume I did years ago, pre-YouTube, pre-sewing machine even, so they're a little rough, but... I might be using them, just to let you guys know. The first thing I do is work on this pre-existing skirt that I had. I'm just painting the buttons gold right now to make it more warrior princess-esque. And I just like gold, so when in doubt, paint everything gold. And now the next step is to try it on and mark where I want it cut and also just get a little lift in because the Amazon women from Wonder Woman are like real buff and whatever buffness I had I definitely lost in quarantine, but might as well try in the next two days, right? Okay, now that you're swole, it's time to use those new muscles to chop up this skirt where you marked it. And now I'm just hacking it off, hacking the lining fabric off, making sure it's nice and neat because we're not even going to hem this. It's, I believe it's like a suede, maybe a faux suede. I don't know, I got it from the thrift store. But yeah, just cut it off where you want it. Anyways, now I am hand stitching a little reinforcement stitch on each seam of the skirt because security purposes. But yeah, now that the skirt is done, it's time to put it on the fridge of sewing, which is the dress form. Now I'm starting to work on the bodice for my shirt. I used a pattern that I already had made, but I don't have any lining fabric that matches the goal that I'm planning to make the shirt out of so i'm using this bed sheet which kind of looks like a granny but anyways hopefully it won't show i'm not too mad at it but hopefully the white won't show and now i am kind of free handing the shape on the neck which is kind of like a warrior halter top e type thingy so i just put it on my assistant venus and drawing out some shapes and try to get it perfectly symmetrical which is near impossible but anyways, I drew a shorter curve on the sweetheart neckline because we don't want that much sweetheart. We still want kind of like tough warrior. So I traced that out onto the design and cut out that neck piece. And then I sewed it all together, right sides together, starting with the sides and then working on the neck piece. Super, super helpful. Tip alert. Okay, so when you're sewing two bodice pieces, it might be quite confusing because when you put them right sides together, they don't really match up. But to help, you can pin them. I like to work one inch at a time by turning the smaller piece on the bodice piece so about a half inch is matching up at once, and then I pin that in place and keep working all the way down the line. If you notice when you're done pinning, the pieces don't lay flat next to each other because the earth isn't flat and neither is your body. So just work down the line as best as you can, use as much pins as you need to, and good luck to you, Charlie. It's also helpful to move inch by inch when you sew as well, making sure the area in front of you is flat because it's not all going to be flat at once. So just worry about the little inch in front of your needle. When sewing the neck piece to the sweetheart neckline, I sewed it one curve at a time. So you know when a dolphin swims, it kind of jumps out of the water, then goes back in, then jumps out of the water again? Well, I sewed one jump at a time, then stopped, and then pinned the other side, and then sewed the next jump after that. This just makes it easier for me than trying to pin it all at once, because that is almost impossible for a sweetheart neckline. So here is the completed bodice for the lining fabric. I forgot the sides were too long when I had this pattern or when I made it, but I'll just fix that later. So here's all the pieces that I had for the pattern. Now I'm using these to cut out the outside fabric for my shirt, which is this gold curtain that I had. It's kind of hard to cut because it's really slippery and unforgiving, but spoiler alert, I managed to do it and sew it together. 
So here is the two of them together. I'm now fixing those side pieces by kind of smoothing it in with the V shape in the front. Now I'm making sure that they match up nice and even together and that the side pieces are both five inches long. Now I'm making a back, back, back it up piece, which is just a rectangle I measured around my back. And the width is the same width of the side of the bodice. So I'm cutting out one of each and I'm sewing the gold on the right side of the bodice and the lining on the left side so that when they're right sides together, they match up. When that step is done, here's what it looks like. Don't mind my massive pile of scrap cuttings. I'm working on a lot of projects, okay? And now I'm just putting those right sides together and sewing all along the top and bottom while leaving these sides open. Here I am working my way around, trying to be really even on all of the edges to make sure that it still fits when I flip it right sides out. Once that step is done, you flip it right sides out and voila, it kind of looks weird, like a bloob. But it's okay because we're going to press it. Yeah, here's the universal hand motion for press that I just made up. And now I'm putting the shirt on my dress form like when I would make macaroni craft in preschool and my mom would put it on the fridge even though it was god awful. So it's kind of the same concept. I'm just kidding. And now I tried to put a zipper in and I failed miserably because I didn't think that through. So we're just going to forget that moment in history and top stitch the sides down, spray paint some hook and eye closures gold because do you think the Amazon woman had silver? The answer is probably yes, but we're going to go with no for now because I got gold everything and I'm a gold enthusiast. Well, I guess fake gold because nothing I have is really real, but... Anyways, I took my booty outside and hand sewed four hook and eye closures to each side. And now I'm trying to reverse that horrible posture I had because I was looking down like all day. I mean, theoretically it'll work, but I guess we'll see. Here is the completed bodice with the closures. I will lay off the ice cream in the next two days just so I don't get any weird puckers when you try to fit into your shirt. It's the side. I mean, who cares? Nobody sees the side. It's like the back. Anyways, now I am really professionally measuring out how long I need my straps to be, and then I am cutting them out of my fabric. I'm making them the same way as my bodice by using an outer gold piece and an inner grandma lining piece. I'm just making sure that when I sew it down, it's going to be the same width as where the neck leaves off at, where the halter top is like ready for takeoff for the strap. You know what I mean? Where, where I'm attaching it. Yeah, anyways, I rolled the raw edges of the tube for the strap inwards, and I'm shoving the shirt end of the plane for liftoff through that tube, and then top stitching it down. This is what it looks like when it is done, and now it's time to bring out those studs that we all studded our denim jackets with when we were like 14, and we're going to glue them on the straps to give it a little extra warrior detail. First, I press all the stabbers down on the studs, which kind of wrecked my, my nails and my fingers. But it's okay, I made it work. And in the meantime, while my hot glue gun was warming up, I tried the shirt on and had my mom help me measure out where the straps are going to sit, because that is actually impossible to measure that out. So I sewed the straps down and cut off the extra and then I realized something. You there. You need to be like an Amazon woman. Amazon women don't give up. When the tough gets going, they get tough. Don't let nobody tell you that you ain't good enough to be whoever you want to be. And don't let you give up on yourself. And that's on DIY. <sighs> And that's on that. Oh god, <laughs> ending was bad. <laughs> so here I am slightly burning my finger to get these studs on and then finally getting smarter than the studs and using a pair of pliers. Now I am coloring a little X with my gold paint marker in the studs to give it more dimension, but you can't really tell. Now I am putting my completed shirt on my fridge, aka dress form, just to see how the whole outfit looks together. And the dress form is a little big for my body, but I think it still looks good. Once that was on, I started draping these spare pieces of granny fabric that I had to visualize how I wanted the harness to be. 
Once I was done, I really professionally measured out how long I need each strap to be, more or less, for the harness. And now I'm actually really professionally marking out straight lines and measuring out my harness fabric. Aren't you guys so proud of me? <laughs> so and then I cut out those straps and I put one around my waist and one around my arm underneath my armpit. I started with those pieces and sewed them down under my armpit to the waistband just by using a top stitch all along the waistband. So that's where they all meet. One of them goes on one side of my head and one of them goes on the other side of my head. And then I added Velcro to the waistband so that it would fit me and I could take it on and off. Now I'm working on that last decorative piece that goes across the two straps and down to the edge of the waistband. I'm pinning that in place so I know where to sew it when I take it to my sewing machine. Now I'm trying to make a little shoulder cuff by cutting out a triangly blobby shape. I'm also adding a dart in the middle so that it cups around my shoulder. Then I put on the harness for the kajillionth time and cut the piece more rounded to make it look more like a pad instead of a triangle. And then I try to see my own shoulder, which is actually kind of hard. But I figured out where to pin it, sewed it down, and that's what it looks like. I decided it needs like another layer of shoulder protection. So I try to measure again around my arm, just kind of a longer banana-y shape. And then I sewed that down underneath the first one and decided it needed more of a cupping shape. So I added two small darts to each side of each shoulder pad layer. I hope that makes sense, but this is what it looks like when it's done. And this is like 12 p.m. at this point. But as you can see, it has a nice shoulder-esque shape to it, but also it gives you arm mobility to punch people. And then I decided that the harness sat too low on my body, so I pinched up the shoulder and just took that in about four inches. Now I'm cutting out two strips of this old shirt I had to make some punch protection bandages or some punch protector straps just to go around my wrist. Always wear protection, kids. The last thing I did on this project was actually use a paint marker to color the lining fabric that kind of peeked through. I know this is probably like hazardous and kind of like a shame, but I didn't have a matching color and I didn't have enough to do two of the same fabric. So this is what I'm doing and I don't want the white to show. So yeah, after this step, I am design and with this outfit and the shin armor and the headpiece I actually had from a previous costume and the shoes I wore for this are just from my personal closet. Let's be real though, I'm probably gonna wear all of these in my personal closet anyways. PSA if you want to protect the Amazon aka the world 
you too can be an Amazon Earth woman and do your part every day to help protect this Earth because it's the only one we got and it's pretty dang magnificent. So feel free to reduce, reuse, recycle. Feel free to eat some veggies. Feel free to pick up your trash. Together we can make a better world. Do Amazon women quit? Oh. <sighs> <sighs> <Come on. laughs>